Good morning, Fawn Volkert here in Living Life Transformed, my public page where I have been coming to you live with my new series, We Don't Need Charming. You can find out more about that at wedontneedcharming.com. It is the theme of my marathon training and my marathon run. Um, and it is to shed light on the things that victims of childhood sexual trauma actually do need. We don't need charming. Charming is what perpetrators actually use to um, to have their way, right? So they're they're charming. They groom and and they lure and uh, and they charm everybody around them into believing they could never do anything like this, right? So we don't need charming. And upon rescue, we certainly don't need charming from other people. <laughs> So today is um, episode five, we don't need charming, we need the truth. It is uh, common among us who have been victims of sexual trauma, it is common that we already struggle with trusting other human beings. And we uh, have this habit of seeking evidence to support reasons why we can't really trust you. Um, I can I can attest to that. I did that for like the first half of my marriage, right? So this does happen and this happens in clinical settings and in personal settings. So I would just say this as a note to people who love the, uh, someone who has a history with sexual trauma is just no gray areas. Just be honest. Don't sugarcoat things. Don't try to just be nice. They don't need charming. They need the truth. So just be honest. Honest even when it hurts sometimes, okay? And then in, in that clinical setting, I would say you can't use your psychological tools and games to undo psychological warfare, okay? It just doesn't work. Just be honest. Just equip them with the truth. And the truth is this. The truth is that they are having a normal response to an abnormal situation. They're actually responding in the exact way we would imagine a human being to respond to something that it should never have to go through. So they're not broken, it's not irreversible, they're not damaged goods, they are not all those things that you've diagnosed them with, they are not. They are normal human beings having an absolutely normal response to an abnormal situation and the faster you teach them that, um, and teach them what that, that normal response looks like and what parts of those things were actually protecting them, then the faster they might feel like they're in a safe place where they no longer have to release protective mechanisms. And, and then to be strengths focused, when it is a safe place to go back and look, they'll be able to explore that how strong they were to endure what they went through, how those things that they now can let go of were actually protecting them. Um, and now they can let them go because now they're safe and now they're safe to be vulnerable. But they can't get there if you're playing games with them. So just tell them the truth about who they are. And that's really it. And then just a message to my survivors out there, those women who have who have come up in that victimization. And you, um, you are... Um, warriors. You were designed to do great things. That is the truth. I'm living in that truth today and I want you to know that about yourself. So so don't believe the lies that people are saying about you. And if you want to know more about that, you can always reach out to me. So once again, you can find out about this movement. This movement is the We Don't Need Charming. Good morning, Susan. I miss you. This is the We Don't Need Charming movement, so you can check that out at wedontneedcharming.com. It is to raise awareness and funds to support the truth behind what victims actually do need. My charity of cho choice is Path to Freedom. You can go directly to them at pathtofreedom.org. You can completely bypass my... Um, my We Don't Need Charming page and go straight to pathtofreedom.org to donate and support them if you want. I just ask that you put something in the comments that indicates that it was this this uh, particular um, appeal that brought you there. So we can track that and so that they'll let me know and I can thank you personally for supporting the We Don't Need Charming um, cause. And then if you want to support me and my walk because it is um, it is a labor of love and it, not walk. I said walk, but I'm actually running 26 miles. If you want to um, support, if you want to support me in that, um, you can. So if it's me you love and you want to support me in that, you can do that at we don't need charming.com. Shout out to some incredible people who have been coming up behind the scenes quietly without um, compensation. I have two coaches. <laughs> I have um, the Stan. I keep shouting out Stan. If you're looking for a personal trainer, he is 
amazing, amazing. He's super, super encouraging. He's also super, super good at holding you accountable, which that's the part I don't like, but I'm glad he's kind about it. And, um, but that's good. It's what we need. And then the other, and he's a truth teller. So if you're, if you're, uh, if you're coming up in, out of the trauma that I've come up out of and you need a truth teller, he's a truth teller. You don't have to guess what he's thinking. And then the other one is Jenna and I can, um, Stevenson, she doesn't know I'm giving her a shout out in here, but she's been coming up quietly behind the scenes and she's a health coach and she's incredible. And she's really been encouraging me and giving me tips on my injuries and how to heal those. And so please, uh, if you're looking for a health coach or physical trainer, uh, let me know because those two have been supporting what I'm doing here and I really, 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 um, really can recommend them not just because they're supporting me but because I wouldn't be where I'm at in training if it wasn't for them. So love to all of you. Take care. And next uh, week I will be back on with episode six. My apologies. I took a week off. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye.